What's up, that Canine Health fam? We are back for another awesome, epic video. This video right here is going to take you on a couple of days of just finding stuff to do that doesn't have to do with working dog stuff, let my dog be a puppy. I uh, told you guys I was going to give you a little bit of a mixture of things, sometimes working dog stuff, sometimes regular dog stuff. And there are awesome benefits to getting out there in those park streets. <laughs> to hang out with your dog. So, all right guys, let's get to the video. So there has been numerous, and I'm talking about bajillions of studies that show that you and your dog both receive benefits from walks. One of the awesome ones, people who walk their dogs, walk more than people who don't. That's going to be average of 150 minutes versus 110 for those who don't own a dog. Helps you manage your stress. <clears throat> Helps keep those cortisol levels in check. Increases your self-esteem because you're out with your buddy and duh, who doesn't like being out with their buddy and feeling like they're a boss? It helps your dog get out there and, you know, sniff around and not just be in the house and release some of its stress and pent up energy. It's awesome opportunity for you to get out and socialize in the community as well as your dog to get out. I'm not saying that you need to let your dog hang out with folks, but hey, it's pretty cool where your dog can get to see some new things, environmentals. Uh, it basically alleviates a lot of the, that boredom that your dog gets when it's just stuck in the house and it's not doing anything. On top of that, it eliminates boarding for you, uh, boredom for you as well. So, overall... Walking seems like it's something pretty awesome that you should be doing with your dog. Hey guys, if you're enjoying this video right now and you got gotten to this point, please subscribe. This is perfect walking weather in Florida right now. It is May and for some odd reason, it is a lot cooler than it usually is. So it is awesome that we get to enjoy this before it gets sweltering to where literally it's unbearable. You can only come outside around like seven. So taking advantage. But it's cool to see her, you know, just be able to interact and vibe. stage not saying that because to you guys it looks like my dog's like crazy which i just don't want to put the control on yet i feel like i lost a lot of character a lot of personality and everything but putting the control on way too early on my last dog astra and yes he was awesome but at the same time i feel like i felt a lot of deep so i could have got a lot more dog and i could have let him be trying to have him to Hey guys, if you're enjoying this video right now and you've gotten to this point, please subscribe. I was more trying to learn my home skills. I feel like sometimes you just want to get out like that. Thank you. 
on. Hey, what's up? How you been? I'm good, how are you? Good. guys this right here is another day uh, same park but we're in a different area so right here we're basically exploring this awesome cool hill and auditorium outside auditorium area where in our community they do live events live music usually they have just like little family gatherings and they actually cut back some of the grass that was high in the previous video that we were doing searching in. So we took advantage and did a little bit of hiking as well. Man, I love just watching her just do her thing. Uh, every day isn't supposed to be training. Sometimes she needs a brain break just to go out and be a dog. So I love when we can just get out here and just explore. And for me, yeah, I'm not exploring, but she is. And it gives her uh, just environment. I love giving her environmentals, if you want to call it that. It allows her to see a lot of different things and just, you know, not be scared of things in her environment uh, actually as you can see right here boom it used to be really really tall grass there so we were throwing um items in there for her to find and indicate on and she did really well she came out like with all these sticky prickly things on her <laughs> and we had to get those off of her that was not fun but hey like i said this dog is awesome i love her i love how she can be she's so versatile she can be part of my family and then next thing you know she's like out just you know doing her thing as an awesome KMP Malinois that she is so
you're enjoying this video right now and you got to this point, please subscribe. Transitioning to the next day. Man, this day was awesome. We are out at another park that is in the area. We actually have, probably, I want to say, about four really cool parks in the area that we venture to we i flip a coin and decide where we're going depending on what we're working on that's where we go this one here has an awesome trail i've only been on one part of it because she's a puppy and i don't want to push her too much there's a whole another section and it's actually super relaxing uh there's a gator like a little baby gator everyone's always talking about we have not run into that thing yet i'm not scared of reptiles actually uh want something that you guys don't know about me that's pretty cool i breed ball pythons i love snakes at one time i've had 70 snakes and um if you want to look up uh, lavender albinos pides clowns all that kind of stuff in those combos Yes, I was producing those and everything like that. Still have a couple clutches dropping, so, you know, just one of those cool things you guys know about me now. Revy loves when we just hop up on this trail. I want to take her. There's a palm tree trail that's on the beach side. I want to go get some footage over there for you guys next. It's beautiful. It's right on the beach, uh, right next to the dog uh, park where the dogs can. They have a doggy beach, actually. It's not a dog park. It's a doggy beach. So you can go to the beach with your dog. Then take them on this awesome, I think it's like 10 mile trail. We will not walk the whole thing. Uh, she's not old enough to do that yet. I don't want to push her too much, but I definitely want to take her out there. It's something that I, it's just beautiful. And I actually don't live that far away from the beach. I'm like, I live super close to the intercoastal and I'm like a hop and a skip away from the beach. So I get to enjoy a little bit of everything. Right now we are working on trying to get a little bit more control on just normal walks i would say at this point i don't try to put that much control on her Leave it. but at the same time we do have to live together <laughs> i can't just ever be a tasmanian devil but with the awesome support of uh my coach and fellow just folks you know i have a awesome i want to call him like a second friend mentor and i met him just from watching his content uh mr scott bully vision man this guy's over in the uk killing it all times he he just gives he just motivates you to want to do better and to focus on your dream your craft if you haven't gotten a chance please go and check out bully vision uh band dogs wow that's all i'm gonna say there's a dog on there named gorilla 
Uh, there's a dog on their name, uh, Duce. Uh, they have a dog named uh, Garvey. Whew. I am a true fan of the Garvey. Uh, so, yeah, guys, sometimes if you ever want to just check out some cool stuff, uh, I'll be dropping some, you know, some references of things that I check out that you guys can go and look at if you want to see working dog stuff, cool stuff, people on inter Instagram. Um, I just think it's good in the community uh, that sometimes isn't the most nice at sharing people's accomplishments and stuff like that, that you want to motivate other, I mean, promote others. Uh, especially if they're doing things that are revolutionary and cutting edge in the industry. So right now we're in the wooded part of the trail. And I'm going to be honest with you, I feel like there was like a tent when I was in here. I where I saw one, I don't know why, <laughs> uh, but it's not in a bad neighborhood or anything like that, but that doesn't mean that folks can't, um, what would you call that, uh, live there, or camp there, or whatever, I don't know, we could be camping, whatever, to be true, I'm not judging, didn't bother me, I and mean, then um, I didn't feel threatened. But it empties right back out to the central location of that pond. And what's super cool, the coolest thing about this area, is that there's an outside gym. The only time I've seen an outside gym uh, was on a trip that I took to Brazil for study abroad when I was in college. And wow, these people are always exercising outside with like really nice outside gym equipment. And it was dope. I would say that people thinking that gyms aren't open. This place has been open all the time. And wink, wink. I'm not going to say that I haven't gone over there and had an awesome workout myself. <laughs> so, hey, you got to do what you got to do, man. Uh, you got to stay healthy, too. The dog can't be the only one out here uh, exercising. So... All right, guys, we're coming towards the end of this video, and I do appreciate all the folks who, you know, uh, stay with me to the end or closer to the end. Uh, it would be awesome if you could go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit, a, hit smack that like button. And go ahead and hit those notifications, please. It would be greatly appreciated. We are, again, a thousand subscribers is the goal right now for YouTube, and we're going to make sure we stick it out and get there. As always, please comment at the bottom. Let me know what kind of content you want to see. I'm going to keep pushing out what I think you guys would like, but at the same time, I am open to, you know, giving my insight on certain things or just providing you some stuff that uh that you're looking at that you normally can't find um on videos on so thank you guys have a good one that canine health out